On March 11, in the city of Okhturka, in Ukraine's northeast, Russian missiles hit a key hub of Kyiv Star, the biggest internet and mobile operator in the country, with 20 million customers in a country of 41 million. It was one of Russia's more precise strikes, and it cut off the city's phone service. Okhturka, a town of nearly 50, 000 before the war, had already suffered attacks on a power plant and residential buildings. Now many townspeople couldn't do something they'd long taken for granted, make a phone call. Kyivstar had a problem. Its employees in the area were already at work restoring lines in other besieged parts of the region. They turned to staff 60 miles south in the larger city of Poltava to come to their aid. The company had hoped that the official safe corridor leading into and out of Okhturka, one agreed upon by Ukraine and Russia to allow for humanitarian aid to go in and for evacuees to get out, would allow the technicians to get to work. The Russian shelling, however, hadn't stopped. It also didn't stop the engineers, who went into the city, where they found that the place where the company's machines direct internet and phone connections, called Anode Station, had been destroyed. That meant all base stations in the city had to be switched to a new node. Despite the threat of further strikes, Okturka got its telephone network back. When Vladimir Luchenko, Kyivstar's technical director, described the operation for Forbes, he reported not only on the work assignments the engineers had completed but whether the team had survived them. Thanks to the quick actions of our staff, we managed to restore the work of 11 Kyivstar base. Specialists successfully returned to Poltava, alive, unharmed and satisfied with their result. Forbes was unable to independently verify the narrative, though it's one that was previously described by other Kyivstar employees on social media. Elon Musk may have provided free internet from space via his Starlink satellites, which tens of thousands of Ukrainians are using, but back on planet Earth, network engineers are venturing out into war zones to fix cables and base stations in the minutes and hours after they've been damaged by Rusev.